Have your thumbsticks decided to give their last wiggle? Don't worry, today we're going to show you how to replace both sticks in your Steam Deck LCD. For this repair you'll need a Phillips 1 driver, a Phillips 0 driver, iFixit opening picks, tweezers, and a spudger. We also recommend using our fix mat so you stay organized throughout the repair. You'll also need your replacement thumbsticks. All these tools and parts will be linked in the description below. Each Steam Deck ships with one of two different models of thumbsticks, type A or type B. Although nearly identical, capacitive touch capability relies on the correct type to be installed. To identify which thumbstick you're going to need, navigate to Settings, System, and check the Steam Deck controller ID. If you see MEDA, you will need Type A thumbsticks. If you see MHDA, you will need Type B thumbsticks. Before you begin your repair, make sure to fully discharge your battery, as a charged lithium ion battery can be dangerous if accidentally punctured. As an extra precaution, Valve recommends pushing your Steam Deck into battery storage mode before starting any repairs. To do this, power down your Steam Deck and then hold the volume up button and then press the power button. Once BIOS mode has started up, use the D-pad to navigate to Setup Utility and the Power menu, and then select Battery Storage Mode and select Yes. Your Steam Deck should power down. One last thing, if you have a microSD card installed, make sure to remove it before opening the Steam Deck. If you attempt to remove the back cover with it still installed, it could snap right in half. All right, let's get down to business. First up, remove the eight Phillips screws securing the back cover to the Steam Deck. Use an opening pick and slide it into the thin gap between the back cover and the front shell, along the edge of the right grip. If you encounter any difficulty, try starting from the top or bottom edges and then work your way towards the grip. With a little gentle prying, you'll free the back cover from those locking clips. The back cover should lift off. Oh, and one important note, if you have a newer Steam Deck version with a black motherboard cover, skip the next step and proceed directly to the following ones. If your Steam Deck has a silver motherboard cover, use a pair of tweezers to gently remove the piece of foil tape covering a screw. If possible, try not to damage the tape as we might need it later. Next up, remove the three screws securing the board shield. If you have a black motherboard shield, you'll only need to remove two screws. With the board shield out of the way, it's time to disconnect the battery cable. If you can, gently pull it away from the motherboard using the pull tab. If that doesn't work, try using the flat end of your spudger. Let's tackle the left thumbstick first, so that means it'll be on your right side since the deck is upside down. Use the pointed edge of your spudger to unlock the ZIF connector and then use a pair of tweezers to slide the cable out by its blue tab. Use your driver to remove the three Phillips screws securing it in place and the thumbstick board should lift right out. Repeat the process on the right thumbstick. With both sticks out, we can start the reassembly process. Go ahead and lay your replacement left thumbstick, which is on the right side facing you, and screw it down in place. You might need to lift your seam deck slightly to align the board correctly. Once in, reconnect its cable. Repeat the same process for the right thumbstick, which is on the left side facing you. We can now connect the battery, and depending on which Steam Deck version you have, lay the silver shield or black shield back over the motherboard and screw it back in place. Gently lay the fan cable to the side, making sure it's free from any potential tangling. If the original tape is still in good shape, stick it on. If not, fashion a replacement with some trusty aluminum foil tape. Carefully align the long edges of the back cover with the device and press down gently on the back cover to engage those locking clips. Grab your Phillips screwdriver and tighten up the eight screws that hold the back cover in place. Remember to find the perfect fit for each one. The innermost four screws are shorter than the outer screws. Now that it's all closed up, we have to calibrate your new thumbsticks. You'll need to plug in your Steam Deck to power it on if you placed it in storage mode. Once powered on, navigate to Steam menu, power, and select switch to desktop. If you don't have a keyboard plugged into your Steam Deck, you'll need to use the on-screen keyboard. 
press the Steam button and X button to enable the keyboard. From the search menu, search for an open console. That's console with a K. Within console, type thumbstick underscore cal and then press enter. The software will first calibrate the thumbstick's resting position, so make sure both thumbsticks are untouched and centered as you do this. Hit enter or A. Now tap on a blank desktop area to move the cursor off of the console window and make sure console isn't in focus. Move each thumbstick through a full rotation of 360 degrees twice. Then tap on the console window to bring it back into focus and press enter or A. And that's it. Your thumbsticks are now calibrated. The terminal should say thumbstick calibration successful. Your Steam Deck is now ready to take on the gaming world once again.